adding moment by resolving forces. So the technique here is to resolve the forces in a way so that you can pass one of the components of that resolved force um, through the point you're taking the moment. So here in this scenario, we're taking moment with respect to point A. Imagine that this is a solid piece firmly attached at point A and it can only rotate either in the, this direction or this direction with respect to point A and point B is free where you are applying these two different forces. So, um, so the resolving force technique simply you resolve all the forces, all these three forces in a way. So it, one of the components will pass through point A, the other component will be perpendicular so that we can easily calculate the moment. So in this case, 400 is already passing through A and the 300 is already at 90 degrees so don't need to worry about that so this 200 only we have to resolve these uh, in a way so one of the component passes through the uh, fulcrum or pivot point which is A in this case so if we resolve this 200 in this direction that's going to be 200 cosine 60 and that component is going to pass through A so it will not cause any moment and then the other component will resolve in the 90 degree to that um, direction so that will be perfectly 90 degrees so we have the shortest distance so that that part would be simply 200 sine 60 degree now if you take moments with respect to the point a so counterclockwise positive respect to point a so for the 400 pound force it is passing through point a so that will not add any any moment so distance is zero for the 300 it will cause a, a clockwise rem moment remember this piece a b is firmly attached at point a so it can only make a rotation um, from this um, so if you apply 300 pound this way at point b it's going to make a um, kind of this nice circle with the radius of AB with respect to point A and it will make a clockwise moment. So that's gonna be negative 300 times the distance is 30 inches. For the 200 though, 200 sine 60, that's gonna do a counterclockwise moment. So it's gonna push this point at point B. So it will try to make a counterclockwise moment like this. So that is a positive moment. So 200 sine 60 degree that's the force component perpendicular times the distance now 30 inches is the shortest distance so if you basically calculate this one will be zero this one nine thousand and then this one i found five one nine six point one five now if you add all of these this two that's going to be minus three eight zero 3.85 pound inches of moment that's going to be clockwise moment 